Hello guys, let's recreate the picture on the thumbnail. Now we'll be needing four yards of um, crepe or whatever fabric you're using to make this or duchess. This is a duchess. So I cut, I actually used three and a half yard though because um, the client brought four yards but she wanted a scarf. Now I cut it into two because we want to cut front and back separately so this is the back pattern it is folded into two so go ahead and cut the length of what you want then you fold it into two then i went ahead to mark the shoulder measurement of eight 16 inches divided by two that is eight then from the shoulder measurement i now measured where the sleeve length we get to so you measure from the shoulder where you want the sleeve length to get to on your client so for this client it is 17 inches so after the 8 inches i mark 17 now from that 17 inches i'm going to be marking one inch for the shoulder slant after that guys i'll be marking the neck width and the neck depth so for this i'm using three inches for the neck wideness then i'll be using one inch for the neck depth of the back now remember we are cutting the back first then we'll place it on the front and cut later that is why i said we'll be cutting it separately so i'll take my ruler and i will connect from the neck width to the one inch shoulder slant I hope you guys understand after that guys we are going to be taking the body um, vertical measurements now I'll be using 11 and a half inches for this client's breast point from the breast point we don't need waist I'm just going to go to the hip measurements now I use 26 inches for a hip length then I went ahead to square it up with my ruler after that guys on the breast point I'll be marking her round bust divided by four then I'll add four and a half inches to this I'm still going to increase it later but just watch on the hip line I went ahead to put the hip measurement divided by four and I also mark and I also added four and a half inches so guys for the shoulder slant where you see my tape touching for our sleeve opening I marked 10 inches 10 inches is okay for all sizes for this type of you know um, kaftan bubu so I mark the total length of this of this dress so I can get a straight line I hope you understand the plus the 17 plus the 8 inches i just mark it so i can get the straight line on this sleeve then i went ahead to connect it like that can you see the way i connected it to the hip measurement so you just give it a curve like that so it was at this point i realized that i needed to add to this measurement because she wanted it free she doesn't want it fitted so i added three and a half inches and i also connected it just the way it seemed doing like that to the sleeve opening so if you want yours a little bit fitted you can leave it at the initial line then i now i just take it straight down so what we have on the hip is what we also have on the hem line then this is me cutting the neck depth of the back and I'm also cutting the shoulder so like I said if you want to see it a little bit fitted just use the init, the first line I mark and you just take it down all the way to the hem line then on this part where you see my hand and chalk the um, touching I went in by half inch and I blend it up to meet the sleeve length that is just to avoid any um, how will I put any excess fabric on that point so it's always good for you to go in then you give it a little bit of slant so when you are sewing you will, you will not have any issue on that part after that I'm just going to go ahead to cut to cut this then I will now bring in the front and place it on the front and we cut 
so this is the back that I finished cutting now let's bring in the front so for the front guys I also folded it into two now I'll be using the folded part like that just watch that part is where I'll be using as the front because it's going to have an allowance where we'll be gumming inside i roll one and a half inches all the way down then i place my back on it then guys so for the front neck depth i'll be using three inches so if you want it down a little just use three and a half inches it shouldn't be more than three and a half so three inches is fine then i connected it so that is the front neck depth and i'm going to cut it off So guys, if you are enjoying this tutorial, kindly give me a like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. Then I'll be cutting the shoulder of the front now. So like I said, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. Turn on the bell so you get notified anytime I upload a new video. In this, um, on this channel, right, you know, we post DIYs, we post, um, you know, we we'll just make everything easy. We we'll just make everything. We we'll break it down to the simplest level for you guys to understand. So, let's continue. Now, from this part, from that 3 inches, I went down by 4. And after that, I'm going to be putting my tape on that. That is minus 3 inches, the one we cut out. And I'll be measuring 35 inches. So, you can do 34 to 35 or 36 or better still you just measure your client's body and ask them where they want this their slit opening to stop at so that is that and i'm going to be sewing just from that four inches to the 35 inches that is where I'll, i will sew let's go and sew after sewing guys this is how it is and i've also give it a very good press now for fabrics that are a little bit shaky like this you can just gum it sorry um press it very well so it to be very you know smooth then i'll take my hemi gun and i'll put it under and i'll iron it all the way down all the way to the hemline of this dress i'll go ahead and do that and I'll come back and show you guys. So guys, this is it. After gumming it, it is looking very neat and beautiful. Can you see it? Now, that is the slit opening. It is also very neat. Then the next thing is to bring in the back. And we'll be sewing it shoulder to shoulder. And we'll also sew the side. So you place your back on your front like that and i'll be sewing i think i actually sew with 0.25 or to 8 so just sew it then you also sew the side with um half inch or with 0.75 and i'll also i'm going to weave everything then i would sew in the sleeve also with um with 0 0.75 so let's go and do that and i'll show you how it is after sewing guys look at it i've weaved and i also hemmed the sleeve i sewed the side and i also hemmed the down part so can you see it yeah i've also hemmed the down parts everything is looking all neat and beautiful after that guys we are going to be sewing a belt on this now i cut this belt two of it i think um five inches then unfold is two and a half for when i sew it out it's giving me two two inches then cut whatever length you want now from the shoulder i mark 17 inches yeah if your client is short you can do 16 inches 
then I did 17 inches then from the center front I now mark out 8 inches so I'll just stay considering or contemplating what I will do between 7 or 8 so I mark 8 inches and I did the same thing for the other side 17 inches from the shoulder line then I went out by by 8 inches after marking 8 inches I now take the belt and you just place it on it on the midpoint and you sew sew with a matching thread so that it will not be showing outside even though it shows but it's a, a thread that blends into the fabric so you also do the same thing for the other side and I will now be hemming or sewing the neckline with a buyer so I cut this fabric that is the material and I'm going to be using it to sew the neckline now this is it guys thank you all bye